Hello and welcome to the Mexop demonstration series where you can see live demonstrations for real users and real world applications. For more information about our products or to schedule your own live demonstration, just give us a call or visit us at www.mexop.com. Without further delay, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the demonstration. So um, let me go ahead and um, load this part in here where we can look at uh, two axis turning. Okay. So I pulled in this model in here, uh, which is a typical part for turning. You have features that are inside mm -hmm. internal features, ID, OD, and also group. So to go from mill to turn, you can click on turning browser on the top, or you can select mill. It'll switch from mill to turning browser. Okay. Now you define your coordinate system for the lathe. So your mm -hmm. Z axis, the axis about which the rotation, so that will be the center line of the part. And when you define it, you want to make sure that the X and the Y are set so the your X and the Z axis is what really uh, matters in turning the most. So you have your Z axis and then the X axis. It's just a two axis. So the Y would be zero. Or it's, you know, we, we only do two axis turn programming, so there's no Y axis motion. Okay? Yeah. So you define the part, you define your uh, you know tool change position, and you can specify these parameters for turning. And then you define your part in here. So in the definition, you select the part. So you can select all of the surfaces to define your part, or you can even select the sketch to define the part geometry for turning. So I can select solid surface geometries. I can do a select surface. Just do a control A, we'll select all of the surfaces. You accept the selection, and all of the surfaces are selected. Now that defines the part, so basically it automatically creates a cross-section or a section view of the part as you see it. Okay? And then you define your stock. Here you can do a cylinder, part cylinder, stock by selection, revolve stock. Define your stock for turning. Once you've done that, you align it and then you set your work zero. The work zero allows you to establish your X and Z origin. Typically you would set it to the rightmost face of the part. And then you go through the process of defining your tool paths. You have your turn roughing, finishing, groove, roughing and finishing, follow curve, threading and parting off. These are the different types of turning operations you can program. And we also have whole machining operations, drilling, tapping, bore, and reverse bore. So in this particular example, I have a turn roughing operation program using a diamond insert. I can specify the insert the definition, insert orientation, the tool number, and also feet and speed. So in turning, you can either work in inches per minute or you can run in inches per revolution. So establish feeds and speed, establish the cutting parameters, and I would like to avoid this groove from being machined in the OD roughing. So I have a groove defined, uh, you know, line defined to basically not cut into the groove by just picking two points graphically, and then generate this tool path. And now we can run a verification. There's the turn simulation. You can display the stock as a three-quarter view as opposed to a full view, so that way you can also look at the simulation of uh, ID features. And there's the turning operation. So the workflow for programming turning is very similar to the milling module. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. We have both for um, uh, you know a majority of the machine tools, and you have Haas. We have TL1, TL2, and mm -hmm. TL2 our machine. You can also customize these post processors in here, where you can specify all the properties, and you can choose to output yeah. in radius or diameter mode. So you can choose diameter mode programming, and this would output in diameter. I can. You know, regenerate and the tool path as well. I'll put it in uh, diameter. So your X and Z axis. Uh, and there's your threading cycle. Are setting up this location here, and that's why it's okay. 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 Yeah. Would there be any questions on the milling or the turning demo uh, that we looked at today? It's very nice. Great. Also. Uh, during your presentation, I have raised my question, and this almost satisfied your 
explanations was very good. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going uh, to yeah, it is, it is nice features you have also. And I would say it's very good for us. Mm -hmm. Okay.